Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. Many extraordinary things have happened to get us to this point. I'm not so certain. I think it has been a long time coming. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. So this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Corsicus. Right in the dangle bag. All right, you're clearly annoyed. What can I do? You're doing fine. It's the dead piled up in Halam Shiral that's nagging at me. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. We decided the course of a nation. I think it was worthwhile. Right. Orle will never be the same. Except for everything they say and do. Ugh. You know the most important thing I got out of all of that mess? The one thing. Don't sleep with empresses. That's what that was all about. That, and Briala being an idiot. The whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. There was a lot more going on than a lover's spat. Oh, sure. There was. Because of the hole in the sky? Pfft. 
Plenty of idiots around before, and there'll be plenty of idiots around after. Better save some arrows, yeah? Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? You stopped them? Cut the dog down? I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We... could... make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe? Of course you'd make light of it. You make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of matching what you've done. Don't you see? It's not just about what happened back then. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations. The machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well... Never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But from the Fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally, especially after helping her neutralize Briala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option... What? Why would I disapprove of... Oh. Because we're both elves. I'm sorry. I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Who do you have much in common with? Who are your people? A good question. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the Elves of Orlais, Briala did what she could. She was an admirable woman, even if her gambit failed. Even if we couldn't help Briala, I hope we can make life better for Orlesian Elves. Stop Corypheus. That will do for a start. It speaks well of you to feel for the oppressed. Help them for that. Know them for what they are, instead of just seeing a pair of pointed ears. Inquisitor, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the Chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? 
It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but won't tell me what it's for? My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. You wouldn't want me to speak about your many issues, I'm sure. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. There is, after all, no shortage of vultures circling the Samba throne. Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Garifius wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiralu was Countess Letien's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. You don't see the Empress of Orlais almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing so few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. You'd think the game's greatest players would spot a murderer in their midst. As I said, insularity. Familiar rivals become the only ones worth sparring with. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. Indeed. Tales of this affair have begun circulating in Val Royale. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his accounts of the evening. The Spy Master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything, yet. Sister Liliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there.
I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. You saved an empress, and now she's eating out of your hand. Perfect mental image. All this dancing, politics, and murder... Ah, makes me a bit homesick. Personally, I'll remember our dance. There could have been more corpses about. Although I suppose you might have tripped over them. <laughs> You're a grim young man, Dorian. Nonsense. I simply enjoy the drama. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. It tasted of despair. It's fascinating. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. Empress Selene left her fate to me. Interesting. Uh. Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. Like most nobility, she's never walked in the shoes of those she endangered. Lady Florian, I give you a chance. Common work, farm work. Do some good. Sentence to walk with animals? How droll. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlais. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what could is doing if you're seeing Cherisateria His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. I'll ignore that you wandered in without knocking. You have my attention. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? It is best if I show you. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks.
This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. Is this place dangerous? It feels... Unnatural, yes. We are, however, in no immediate peril. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not... resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places... between, like... this one. I can describe it no better. For a time... I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time. One cannot remain... in between, forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon 